Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit this image from start to finish. How to whiten the background, how to retouch the skin. And also, I'm going to show you a simple trick on how you can place this pattern. This pattern, how you can place it on the floor like this, in the same plane as the ground plane of the model, so that it looks like the model is standing on it. How to do it in the most realistic way. And the technique we'll be using in this tutorial is super easy. Anyone can follow along and try getting amazing results on their retouching. So watch this video all the way to the end to learn new tip tricks that will help improve your editing in general. With no further ado, let's get started. So if you zoom all the way to the face of this model, uh, you can use your spot healing brush to remove any pimples on her face. Spot healing brush, select it. The left click on the pimples if there's anyone on her face to easily remove them like this. Next thing we can do, we can retouch the skin. We are going to use the auto fix FX option for that. So, on the auto fix FX option, we click on the play button and voila, the action is going to automatically smooth in the model skin. While retaining all the texture, retaining the form is not going to deform the model, just goes into smoothing the colors and make the skin look more beautiful. And you can apply this more than once. So if you want to apply this again, you are going to flatten the image. And if you apply the auto face FS again, it is going to further smoothing the skin. For the second time, you can see it's already affecting the hair, so you can create a layer marks. Ctrl I to invert the layer marks. Take your brush, make sure foreground is white, and bend over areas you want to review this effect. Just majorly her skin, especially her face like this. We can leave every other part of her body to look more natural. Just as easy as that. We have taken the model skin from looking like this. To looking like this and what we did was just play the auto face fs action and it's automatically smoothing her skin without destroying the skin texture or even deforming the face everything is intact just leaving the skin smooth and flawless the next thing we are going to do to this image we are going to flatten the image again and then we are going to fix the background quickly so take your patch tool Make a selection around this area like this and when you drag to a meter area you are going to replace the source with the destination file so if you make a selection like this you drag all the way to the area you want to replace the selection and as easy as this we have replace that selection the next thing we are going to do we are going to zoom down to the floor we are going to take our patch tool and remove all those big large dates like this is very easy to do just going to remove all these dates here and there the next thing we are going to do we are going to duplicate the background i'm going to name this subject we are now going to select the subject take your quick selection tool click on select subject and it's going to automatically select the subject from the background Make sure you zoom in to see the areas that have been selected. If it was done properly, if it's not, you can refine the selection. Take your quick selection tool, and just like this, you can refine the selection. This selection is very good already. So I'm going to create layer marks like this. So that whatever we do below the layer marks is not going to affect the subject. So like the floor right here, we are going to clean the floor. We are going to smooth in the background, the seamless backdrop. So if you take your mixer brush to increase the wetness to 100 in the other uh, values at 30, 30, 30. Um, any value can do the job just that at wetness of 100 is going to clean the background very, very fast. So if you are brushing and you are not seeing the same result as I'm seeing, then make sure this is ticked. Clean the brush after each stroke and make sure this 
current brush load is a transparent layer like this so you click on the click the clean the brush after each stroke so now we are going to paint we are going to brush the background like this and with that we are going to easily clean the background so i will brush if you mistakenly brush into the skin if you mistakenly brush into the model it's not going to affect it because you have selected it from the background so as easy as this we have cleaned the background but this is supposed to be a white background if you look closely the white is not a perfect white so how do we make it a perfect white very easy come and create a black and white adjustment like this change the preset to maximum white and voila the background is now a perfect white so you can see here was before and here we are right now everything is going towards the right direction and don't forget i've got this beautiful skin we took it from looking like this to looking like this using the auto fix fs action the link is in the description so the next thing we are going to do we are now going to add the pattern to the floor which is very easy so you go to the folder where your pattern is this is the pattern we are going to use we drag it into photoshop like this to select this pattern we are going to hold ctrl or command and click on the pattern to create a selection around it go to edit and copy to copy the selection i'm going to deselect the selection and we are going to create an empty layer we are going to rename this empty layer ground floor ground floor design just like this i'm going to go to filter now i'm going to go to vanishing point so we are going to click on create plane tool so we are going to make a selection like this and so what we are trying to create is a ground plane that will match the ground plane of this image so we are going to adjust it so that it now looks similar to the ground plane of the image once you are okay with the shape you've created press ctrl v to paste the pattern we copied from photoshop so it's as easy as that so now you can see the pattern has taken the shape of this plane we created so you now click on ok to come back into photoshop so you press ctrl t to take the pattern that is to transform the pattern from this position down here like this so that it fits where the model is standing and you are going to drag it down like this so that the it's going to stay below if you press ctrl t again you can resize this shape and move it so that the model is standing on it when you're okay with what you've done change the blend mode to multiply now you're going to press ctrl i to invert this selection so it's now looking exactly as we'd want it you can reduce opacity so that it's going to fade into the background and look more realistic it's very easy if you've learned anything new please smash the like button right now now we're going to add some glues to this model to do that we're going to create a layer new layer I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay, fill with overlay, neutral color, click on OK, come to your channel, click on this icon right here, the selection icon, it's going to select the image like this, come back to the layer, take your brush, make sure the foreground is white, change the flow to 10, and then you're going to paint on the areas that have been selected to add this beautiful glow effect to your model, it's very easy. As easy as this you're just going to make the model to pop you're going to make the model skin to pop so if you've if you've brushed over the model if you brush over the skin you can come to select and deselect here was the before and here's the after let's zoom in here was the before here's the after we literally added glow effect to this skin and make her to pop more as easy as this don't forget you can adjust your opacity now we are going to create a star visible layer 
Control Shift Alter it E. And we are going to go to filter. We are going to go to camera roll filter. Set the camera roll filter. We can adjust the temperature and the tint of the image. We can also give. We can also make basic adjustment by increasing the exposure, bringing down the highlights. We can also darken the image and add a little bit of contrast. Here's the before and here's the after. Now I click on OK to come back into Photoshop and reduce the opacity of this. You can see that everything is looking very great already. Look at the skin. Just look how naturally retouched it is. Why this was before. See how rough the skin is. Here's the after. It's now looking amazing. And all that was done using just one click. The autofix FS action. Link is in the description. See how we place this pattern on the floor. See how we place it and it's now looking like it was originally on the floor during the shoot, but it was placed right in Photoshop using the vanishing point filter. And if you learned anything new, please smash the like button. Finally, we can come to filter, liquefy so that we can liquefy some parts of the model's body. Nothing much, just make sure we select the forward warp tool. And then we are going to gradually adjust areas of the body that I need pushing in. Like this, we are going to push these areas in and press in and press out. It's very easy and basic. So we are not doing anything much. Don't over find the image so that it doesn't look fake. Anytime you are doing you can find just aim for moderation. So once you're OK, you can click on OK like this to come back into Photoshop. You can also add a color lookup, load your lot. And anywhere your lot is, you can add it to the skin as easy as this. Also adjust opacity. Now using this lot, I'm just showing you that you can always add lots to beautify your skin tone and color grade your image. I have so many lots. On my website, link is also in the description. Free lots are also on the website, so you can check the link in the description to get them. So don't forget where we started from. We transform this image from looking like this to looking like this. You can use the selective color to adjust the color of the white. You can make the color of the white look more cyan. You can also make the white look more whitish by removing the black, like moving the black to minus 100. It's very easy you can do that also and if it's negatively affecting the skin you can take your brush make sure foreground is black increase your flow paint on the skin to remove the excessive white that has been added to it just like that so before and after general before and after please subscribe to this channel because we turn out more helpful tip tricks and photography tutorials share this with your friends and colleagues that needs them like this video Leave a fire emoji in the comments. I'm happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.